Good evening. Thank you for joining us for TDOC Talk. My name is Bobby Strauder, Assistant Commissioner of Prison Operations. And joining me tonight is Deborah Thompson, the Director of Volunteer and Religious Services. How are you doing tonight? I'm happy. How are you doing? I'm doing very good. Great. Tonight we're going to talk about Take One and all the great things that are happening with, with, with Take One. Uh, Director Thompson is going to tell us some of the nuts and bolts that's going on with Take One. Good evening, A.C. Strotter. I'm excited about our Take One program. With Take One, it started in 2014, and it was the vision of, represent the vision of Representative Johnny Shaw and our former Commissioner Derek Schofield. Commissioner Schofield at that time was traveling throughout the state of Tennessee, and he noticed there was a church on every corner. And uh, there's approximately 10,000 churches throughout the state of Tennessee. And him and Representative Shaw were in a co conversation. Mm -hmm. And in that conversation, they had s decided, they said, well, what if we have, if each faith-based organization would take one offender and mentor them and their family for up to one year upon their release, the, res the impact that it would have on our community and on the recidivism rate. And that's how Take One started. It started as a vision. And since that time, we have matched over 300 offenders. We have over 250 organizations that are part of Take One, and we're really very excited about it. Now, that may not seem like a lot to a lot of people, but that's 300 lives that are being impacted about someone that's loving them, someone that is caring for them, and someone that's been accountable. And we both have backgrounds in community supervision, and we notice, know that one of the things that most offenders have an issue with is oftentimes once they are released, and they're released on parole, or even they're flattened a sentence, there's nobody there. They have all this support while they're in the prisons because we have a lot of religious programs. However, nobody's there on the outside waiting to mentor them. And this is where Take One was, was born. It was, it was whole, the whole point of Take One is to help those that are bound, hurting, and lost. So once again, we're very excited about it. We have had mm -hmm. just tremendous success stories with Take One. There have been offenders, families that have been mended. There are offenders that have gone on to get higher education. There are offenders that have maintained, have obtained and maintained employment. And mm -hmm. that's major for offenders because if a man or a woman can find a job and support their families, then they're less likely to uh, recidivate, go back into the system. And that's what we want to help reduce. Now, one thing with Take One is the department didn't put a lot of conditions on it because we want the community to run Take One and be it's guided by the community. And we're just partners with the community in Take One. Mm -hmm. uh, Commissioner Parker is very much so a part of Take One. He's on board with it. We had a very successful event in Jackson, Tennessee mm -hmm. uh, in March. And Representative Johnny Shaw, um, the, the, he uh, was there at the event as well as Commissioner uh, uh, Parker. And the event went very well. We had several organizations that were there. We had organizations that were there that were nonprofit that's going to help offenders when it comes mm -hmm. to jobs. And we also had several faith-based organizations mm -hmm. that have signed up to mentor offenders. And that's a lot. And for someone that's out there in the community that is looking to become a part of Take One or want to know more information, we have an event coming up in Nashville on uh, April the 27th, which is next Thursday, and it's going to be at Cross Point Church. Um, God Behind Bars is sponsoring the event on the 27th. They're one of our faith-based organizations that's helped us a lot in our prisons, and they're also going to sponsor an event in Knoxville on May the 4th at Faith Promise Church. And if someone wants to know more information about Take One, they can go to our website, there's information on our website, and they can also download uh, mm -hmm. an application. So we are very excited about this program. We're very excited about the results that it's having in offenders' lives, and we are continuing to push forward because with only having 250 mm -hmm. organizations and we got 10,000, there's a whole lot more room. So we are really looking for the community to step up and help with this, or this uh, initiative that we have going forward. Okay. Can you tell us a little bit about how those in the community can become a mentor? How they can become a mentor is they can either talk to any of the chaplains in our 14 prisons. They can contact me, Deborah Thompson, Director of Religious Volunteer and Victim Services, or they can go to our website and fill out an application. Also, we want to encourage those who want to know more about it uh, to come out here in Nashville to Cross Point Church on next uh, Thursday morning. It's going to be from 10 a.m. to 12 noon, and it's Cross Point Church on Cowan Street. Representative Johnny Shaw will be there. Commissioner Parker will be there. 
there and several other TDO staff will be there. And we've had thus far an overwhelming response of those that have RSVP to come. So mm -hmm. we want to encourage those in Nashville and the surrounding areas to come out to this event and find more information out about Take One. Well, that's great. I, I want to just thank you for sharing with us tonight. Thank you for the great work. And I just want to thank you all out there for joining us and tune in again with us next month on TDOC Talks.